Welcome to FBTV's coverage of the 2014 Grand Finals. I'm Darren Lutton. We're at Lions Stadium for the Capital League 2 clash between Holland Park Hawks and Park Ridge FC. Holland Park have been the dominant team in Capital League 2 this season and have rightly made their way to the Grand Final in first place. Park Ridge have stormed home with a late charge, coming from fourth place to make the Grand Final. This should be a great encounter. Calling the game today is Rafe Griffin. Thanks very much, Darren. Exciting start to the day with the Capital League 2 Grand Final. First of three Grand Finals here at Lions today. So we take a look through the team lineups for Park Ridge, their number 12, Jason Robinson. He was sent off in the match against Brisbane Knights last week. That red card expunged and he's been free to play today. Marty Krennis has control of this one. He'll be assisted by Tony Sarai and Michael Bozov on the lines. Ball played through there by Rasmussen for Holland Park. He finds Alistair Baird and Baird puts his shot over the crossbar. Park Ridge's turn to attack. Switch out in the right. Wibranowski. Puts his cross in. No black shirts there to meet it. It's going to sail harmlessly across the byline. Smith. Back pass there for Darvel. And I think Adakwa might have collected Darvel there. Referee Martin Krennis spots no advantage to Holland Park. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, Darkwa certainly collided with Darvel late on that one. I think the Holland Park players are looking more than just the free kick, perhaps a card, but Martin Krennis has decided the free kick is enough on that occasion. Holland Park free kick! And Elms to his right makes the save. Throw-ins in for La Petit. La Petit puts his cross in! And a bad again bad. Getting close to his target. Chambers on for La Petit. Quick exchange of passes here. Baird. Baird towards the edge of the penalty box for La Petit. Carr tried to get goal side and get a turn on goal. La Petit. Inches wide of the post. Let's take another look at that. La Petit. Oh, and might have taken the slightest of touches off the post and out across the goal line and both sides with chances in this first half not able to convert any of them so far Ibanez Formaz oh challenge in there from Kabassi referee Martin Crenn is quickly onto that one free kick to be taken by Knobloch straight into the foot of the wall Holland Park clear. On the verge of 45 minutes now as we move into stoppage time. Oh, challenge in there by Dan Smith on Michael Wibranowski. Martin Krennis has the red card out immediately. Concern being shown here for Michael Wibranowski. Dan Smith for Holland Park also remained down. Let's take a look at that. Oh, and a high foot from Dan Smith. Might have collected Wibranowski in his face or perhaps the right shoulder. Tensions are flaring here at the moment. Another look at it. Oh, very high foot from Dan Smith. Good news is that Wibranowski is to his feet. Now Dan Smith also getting to his feet. He looks a bit groggy. Martin Krennis just pulling him away. I think he's about, he's, he's about to learn his fate. And Holland Park will have to go through the remainder of this match with just the 10 men. Complaints being shown there by Marv Bratton. And it's a penalty at the end of all that that Knobloch takes! Darvel gets something on it but can't save it completely. And on the stroke of half time. Park Ridge have the 1-0 lead. That's certainly a handy time to score. They'll take the psychological advantage into the half-time break, Will Park Ridge. 
We see the lineup now for the restart. With three and a half minutes into stoppage time, obviously that injury did take a bit of time as we see Wibranowski coming back onto the park after receiving treatment. Don't think we can have too much longer left in this first stanza. Holland Park take the kickoff. And that's it. Half time, Park Ridge 1. Lead Holland Park nil. Ball's on there for Knobloch. Knobloch, he goes down. Oh, heavy challenge in there. And referee Krenners has decided that was obstruction. Tempers again flaring. Marv Bat Ratten keen to get the play restarted quickly. Drozdek being channeled away there by Kabassi. Will be a goal kick here to Holland Park and something again happening in back play here that Martin Krenis once again calling out Marv Bratton. Cooler heads need to prevail here. Holland Park already down to 10 men. They wouldn't want to lose another one. The yellow card is out here. I think Martin Krenis has lost his patience here with Marv Bratton. Proctor plays it back for Carr, then Rasmussen. Proctor again. Baird slides the ball through. Proctor picks up on it. And there's the equaliser for Holland Park. And the celebratory goal swing after a great ball through by Alistair Paird. Picks up Luke Proctor, squeezes it in at the near post. And 10 minutes into the second half, we're on level terms once more. Ball played through there by Drozdek. It's collected by Zach Bratton. Now it's Baird. Challenge comes in from Klein. It'll be a free kick here to Holland Park. And it's a booking coming out. And re referee Martin Crenn is consulting with his assistant. Here comes yellow card this time. Liam Klein. Holland Park free kick. Rasmussen with it at the end of that. Tussle for the ball. Falls Carr's way. Dinks a little ball over for Proctor. Corner played in. Darvel got a touch on it. Might have been dipping in towards the goal there at the last minute. Holland Park corner this time towards the back post. Lapati plays it on. And the shot comes in from Marv Bratton. Desperate work there from the Park Ridge keeper and Nathan Elms in conjunction with his defenders. They're not out of danger just yet. Klein heads away though. Second look at that on the replay. Lapati plays it back for Marv Bratton. At the feet there of Elms, the foot. Comes in there from the Park Ridge defender. Lapati on for Proctor. Through now for Baird. Alistair Baird gives Holland Park the lead. 14 minutes from time. Proctor. Park Ridge defence caught short at the back. And Alistair Baird past Nathan Elms, who'd committed himself, trying to reduce the angle, but couldn't do so just enough. Zach Bratton. Target was Baird, and Baird's going to pick up on the ball there. Trip there. I think that was Klein. Klein's already in trouble. He's already had a yellow card. And now Park Ridge down to 10 men. It's 10 on 10 now with 12 minutes of normal time remaining. Alistair Baird was away. Klein knew it. Knew his fate straight away. Gets a send off too from the Holland Park players. So it's an exciting 
Final seven minutes of this regulation time. Both teams playing in the midday sun. Both down to 10. Fitness could come into it. McLean, straight to Darville. Darville might have juggled it or misjudged it. And Park Ridge bring it back to 2-2. Two -two. Shot played in. Just might have dipped and swerved at the last minute there for Darville. But Joe McLean giving his side a chance now. Hewlett, can they find the winner here? Adakwa brought undone there with a free kick. Elms plays it out short. Referee Martin Krennis blows the full-time whistle. 2-2 in the Capital League 2 Grand Final at the end of 90 minutes as we go into extra time. Baird. Being very good for Holland Park today. Alistair Baird able to get around his man. Schooling and Elms pulls off the save. And Elms again. Able to shut down Baird. Zach Bratton goes and chases for the ball. Bratton into the box now. Cuts it back. Proctor with the shot in. Parkridge unable to clear. Now able to do so. Smith just lets the ball go across the sideline. Martin Krennis blows an end. To that period of extra time, still no goals in the extra time period. Can this final 15 minutes resolve a winner? Smith, chested down. Played through for Proctor. And Proctor takes a touch off Elms. Bratton, Marv Bratton for his brother Zach. Holland Park again, looking threatening. Played on there, interchange of passes between Baird and Proctor. Carr. Smith. Black shirts desperate in defence. Carr puts the ball through for Baird. And Alistair Baird has given Holland Park the lead once again. Luke Carr. Through the channel there for Alistair Baird. And Elms diving to his right, tried to make the save, unable to do so. So we have a Holland Park free kick. Tap of the head there from Todd Gordon on Michael Adakwa. And referee's going to call out a player here. And here's the number nine for Park Ridge. Joe McLean must have said something. To referee Krennis after that decision. So we're now moving to stoppage time of extra time. Smith. Walkie might have taken a stray knock. Thought that was going to be the full time whistle. Park Ridge have been awarded one last free kick here. Their final chance of the match. Walkie shepherding all his players up forward. Walkie with his free kick. Only as far as the Holland Park player. And that is the full time whistle this time. And Holland Park have claimed the Capital League 2 grand final after extra time. Fantastic effort by both sides. 3 2. Dean Lapati collecting. The grand final trophy here for Holland Park. And they are the 2014 Capital Two League grand final wins.